Silvio against Evil's very own Nelvin. I believe that's a crew. Uh, yeah, so Silvio took me out, and he took Dill out on his on his run through winners. And now he's just, I'm assuming he took out another good player, too. He's so, been doing well today. Yeah, New York's third best wolf, question mark, maybe. That's what that's what his Twitter header is <laughs> out here. Against a man who, who's who been consistently holding it down for CT since uh, Smash 4. We got Nelvin. Still repping Diddy, you know. Well, all, the the, Diddy, all the Diddy the loyalists are coming back. They're all coming back because the character works now. Yeah. yeah. Sakurai was like, oh, I messed this one up. Let me just... Uh, what do you mean they're not picking this? Da game? Dave in accounting, can you fix this? Hey, listen, Dave looking like he did a pretty damn good job, especially out the gate here for Nelvin. Racking up tons of damage, super easy. But that'll put in the work, too. See, I don't, I don't, I can't tell if Diddy's ledge trapping is, is as, well, it might not be as dominant as it was in the four, but I feel like it's still pretty damn good since Banana's a great stage control tool. And you'd be correct in your assumption. While Diddy in this game is never going to be the behemoth of control that he once was, like, he still has a lot of really good tools that you are forced to respect. Always got to respect those raw smash attacks, though, from Diddy. What I, what I noticed today from playing Silvio is that he, he's very good at holding down his little circle of space. In comparison to other wolves that tend to go in more, like uh, Bo and Ralphie, Silvio will pretty much hang back. It's been a staple of his place in Smash 4 when he played Cloud. So he just switched to, to Cloud with Claws. And it's, it's, work, it's working out for him so far. Nel Nelvin's giving him a lot of trouble with, it, with uh, how good Diddy's disjoints are. Like, Nelvin's just been able to break zones super easily. Whether yeah. he's using the banana to offset Silvio's positioning, or he's using monkey flip to just threaten with a hitbox. Like, Nelvin's just constantly in, and when you're in on a player like Silvio, like, you don't get a chance to see his combo again, because a lot of what Silvio's doing is just reactionary. He's playing like a physical zoner, where, like, he wants to play at the very edges of his hitboxes and play the game once it's his time. He doesn't want to stretch the envelope any further than it needs to. That one's been doing a really good job of not letting Silvio play the game. I, 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 oh, there we go. But that, that trade right there is going to work out just in time for him. Was it up tilt, I believe? Or up smash? Because I didn't hear Wolf go, Arr! So I'm assuming that up, was up tilt. Up tilt, that's coin purse part two. Yeah. Coin purse point one. <laughs> I... Because the death attack is part one. Whoa, did you just, that was a weird charge up. Did he just have like a, a baby seizure? Uh, yeah, he shakes. He, he puts shakes his entire it. body into his smash attack. Yeah, that's true. My man puts his heart and soul into playing. I mean, he's got those little spindly monkey arms. He's not going to be able to do a lot of these are actually incredibly strong. They have enough force to rip a man's face. <laughs> that's true, yeah. I've, I've seen news articles. Like, it's, it's a strong monkey. Yeah. And he's got a gun. You have he's to getting stronger by the day. My man's been putting in work on that tier list. And Silvio just Ooh. can't seem to get in because now has been doing such a great job managing his banana play. Like, he's kept his banana in his hand the entire time. He hasn't let Silvio touch it once. And it's given him so much control over the situation. His combo game, too, has been pre pretty lethal. Just racking up a quick 30 there. That's not going to be it just yet. Yeah, they, did he got uh, traded less kill power? For, I, don't, I don't really know what he trained in return, but albeit he's still an extremely solid character, I think people have been becoming more awoken as to how good Diddy is. It's just the fact that he has a lot to hit control into. Oof. But you can also just do that. Just hit. Nelvin looks so much different than the last time I've seen him. I actually don't remember what Nelvin looks like. He doesn't come, I feel like he doesn't come out too much, but he, he plays a lot to where he's obviously very, very skilled. I remember he, he, come to a few, he came to a few uh, Long Island regionals, like Alpha, Alpha 2, I believe. I think he went to Alpha 1 as well. That's where Connecticut was always coming out to us. He's out here, though. My man's got the 4th of July pride on. Silvio thinking about his counter pick. We are two hours away from Freedom Day. Freedom Day? Freedom Day. But we're not trying to, we're not trying to have Zeno go into Freedom Day. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We never know. Def trying not to know. I almost got DQ'd because I thought Zeno did all of Top 24 together. They just do whatever. Just go, go, go. They just do whatever. I got back from me and my fried ice cream. I was like, oh, got play? Okay, cool. Two, one, all right. Go. Uh, I... What stage did they start off from? Battlefield? Did they start off from Battlefield? No, I'm, I'm smacked. They didn't start on Battlefield. Hello. Where do we... Oh, PS2. We're Duh. in the Empire State. Sorry. We start on Pokemon Stadium yeah. 2. <laughs> Hello? I have, like, the memory of a goldfish, so... Clearly. Me. Nelvin's been schmoovin' on him, though. Get an impressive 72 just to start off with. Yeah, it's the same thing. I don't think Silvio is able to find his way past it. I like the Nair there. Nair and CQC. Close, uh, close quarter combat, for those of you who don't know what acronyms are. Um, is, is a really good get-off-me tool. It's probably Wolf's quickest tool, honestly, to get the opponent off of you when they're in your face. And I think retreating Nair is going to be very, very key for Silvio here in this matchup. Like, Nair as a whole is just a panacea for a whole lot of situations that Diddy Kong can be putting him in. Good DI. Getting ripped around by this wolf now. But, like, as you were saying, like, Silvio could do a lot of work with just Nair. Great option from Silvio. We've seen him moving around a ton 
But seeing Melvin waiting, just lying in wait trying to get the kill. I like the get up attack, but it wasn't enough to stave off the pressure. Silvio looking a little flustered though, as you can see in the player cam. He just he seems like he doesn't have a lot of answers. See, this is that's another thing he should be doing more. I feel like he's not been shooting the gun as much as he could be. I feel like it's a great tool to force Diddy to approach you. And at least have to jump. Great, great coverage right there at that down smash. Silvio, no stranger to using that move. And that's what happens when you let the banana out of your hand. Yep. Well, you bring up a good point with the gun. I feel like Wolf's Blaster could be used actually really well against Melvin's style of approaches. Yeah. Because Monkey Flip is just, it's woefully linear. You're going in a line, a very small arc to that line at that. And the Blaster Shot is large enough that it can cover that space. Maybe not from full stage, but still a decent amount of space can be covered. The problem is, is that Melvin isn't committing to Monkey Flip as much in this matchup. That's a good shield. So, like... You don't want to like commit ultra hard, otherwise you're just going to get eaten alive by Diddy Kong going in on you for free. It's definitely tough. I feel like as, as, as a spacey at this level of play, you really have to... Every I feel like every set is just a lesson in how hard you can or can't commit. I mean, spacies are, are probably used to not committing too much, especially Wolf. I feel like Wolf you know, does his best when he's playing his extremely safe neutral. You know, it's a little less safe now with the, the nerfs that have happened, but yeah. yeah. See, what a great... If he's holding center stage and using gun, Nelvin really can't get out of the corner. But therein lies the problem. He used that gun, Too and much. then Nelvin got through fairly easily and got his, his hit confirmed. So, like, you got to stay just as mobile as Diddy is when you're trying to fight Ooh. off against him. Peanut to up the air. The nut cross. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want none of that. All right, so Silvio even it up. You know, Wolf's explosive punish game is really, really good. He's going to be, if he can just keep trading with Nelvin, he's going to end up killing Nelvin before Nelvin kills him. He's just going to find himself into that situation, and I feel like Nelvin has been putting himself in the situation. He didn't get that shield grab. What? That's crazy. Sakurai, what are you doing? I also think when the banana's on the floor, he could be using dash attack a bit more. I think, I believe that dash attack will pick up the banana. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But, uh, I mean, at the start of the... Like the input, yeah, you're picking up the banana along with you. But then, like, Dash Attack from Wolf has, like, a respectable amount of end lag, which, once again, Nelvin is picking off Silvio for these laggy options. I think also, Silvio should be playing the platform a little bit more. I feel like platform camping against Ziddy is a, is a really good option. It forces Ziddy to either overcommit to a monkey flip if you're sitting in shields, or he's just gonna have to shark under you. Okay, this is not. Oh, this is Chance. Ah, oh, the roll back, though. Yeah, that's the move that Silvio's keeping an eye out for. He doesn't want to have to deal with Nair. Because Nair's that hit confirmed that's going to oh, lead it's, it's, into it's a It's Ike Nair, just on Monkey. Yeah. Monkey Nair. Ooh, oh, he thought, he thought he got the cross up right there, but unfortunately they're in front of his shield. Oh, this could be a free kill, yep. Ooh, Nelvin not. getting up as the up smash connects. He knew that was Duskies. And Mel Nelvin making top eight winner side at Xeno. I don't know if anybody saw this coming. Nelvin, very good player in his own right. I don't believe he's PR'd in CT currently. Uh, but he, he definitely has the skill to be. He yards. keeps on picking up his way through this bracket. He's picking up enough wins to put him there. There you go, up smash, yeah. Silvio starting to figure things up as the set progressed. Yeah, with, that, with this crisp replay technology. Look how fast. I remember the beginning doing a zoom. of this replay technology. They're a little shaky. We're that. doing a zoom. <laughs> Nelvin. Nelvin. Nelvin Monkey. Monkey. Look at us having to commentate it. <laughs> Despicable. Pack my best time. Past my bedtime, I should say. I just had diarrhea in the mouth. Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. So up next, we got Home Economics Ralphie versus Demise Mystery.